grafting, we need two main components. We need our native rootstock and then graft wood. Tell me about the graft wood. Okay, we, we have to package our wood, cut the wood off of the tree while it's still dormant, which we can do in December, January, February, and the early part of March. And uh, we need last year's growth. And in order to get the proper amount of growth, we need to prune a tree back pretty severely so it will produce shoots of wood that's from three to six feet in length. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we package our wood in about foot long pieces. Uh, and the smaller size wood is ideal for bark grafting, which is on the larger trees that from one inch to about four inches in diameter. Mm -hmm. The uh, larger wood is used for four flap grafting and this is trees that's about half inch up to about three quarters inch in diameter that we we graft uh, four flap wood on, or sometimes called a banana graft. Now, where on the tree do you go about grafting? We like to select a place up about five or six feet off of the ground, and mm -hmm. this way, it kind of gets it up high enough that our vertical limbs will be high enough that we can mow under them and harvest the pecans under them. And uh, it also kind of protects it from uh, animals uh, breaking the graft off so bad. Uh, cows, deers, and other animals tend to like to eat the foliage on pecans, so we want to get them up off of the ground a little bit to protect them from damage. Okay, and one last question. We do have a branch here below that five or six foot point. Would we go and cut that off or do we want to leave that on there? On a larger tree, we kind of want to leave one or two branches and it helps to feed the tree and, su and support the tree. And it also helps to keep our graft from growing too rapidly, which makes it more s susceptible to being torn up by wind or, or damage from because it being weak. Okay, and in a few years, once that top part's established, within, we'll remove the lower branch? Yes, within uh, one to two years, we'll take all the branches off, and at about, after about three years, we won't have anything but the graft above the tree. Dick, you mentioned that the graft wood is collected while it's dormant, but the grafting itself takes place once the stock tree, the rootstock, is um, actively growing. How do you know which uh, stage of development, when to do the graft? Okay, all trees break dormancy at a different rate. Uh, mm -hmm. This particular tree here is just starting to come out of dormancy and it at least 10 days to two weeks before this would be ready to graft. Here's another example of a tree that has already made about a foot of terminal growth. So this tree would be ready to graft now. So the thing, we, we have to wait till the slower trees get ready to graft before we want to go out and start grafting because some of the trees we come to won't be ready. So you have to walk past those or come back at a later date. The trees that we selected for the demonstration today are just at the beginning stage of where you'd want to start grafting. Mm -hmm. This season is running a little late because of two reasons. We've been cooler than normal and we've been a lot drier than normal. Mm -hmm. It takes water to help get the sap coming up from the root system and you need warmer temperature. Okay. So we're about 10 days away in Payne County from being ready to start grafting. And uh, today is the second day of May. so. Normally we think about May to about the first of May till the end of the first week of June is the ideal time. Mm -hmm.